this is exactly what I mean when I say that Miss Katie is a very much a clout chaser and nothing is good enough for her unless you're exactly like her. Well, you better not even try being a vegetarian because she went after Paul McCartney for being a vegetarian. Yeah, we're going to talk about this. So as always, grab your snack, grab your drink, give this a like and a subscribe. You're not obligated to, but it does help the channel. Uh, yeah, roll the intro. So yeah, Miss Katie went after Paul McCartney, one of the Beatles. And she even specifically, like, says that, that he's one of the Beatles, blah, 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 like, So? I can't even with this woman. I swear sometimes. Like, this is exactly what I mean by the point where I'm like, she thinks that unless you're exactly like her, you are an animal herter, that you are just the scum of the earth, you are the worst person ever. Like, but yet at the same time, she likes to tell people, just try it. Just try to to be vegan. Well, a lot of people try to be vegan by being a vegetarian first. Apparently to you, that's not good enough. Apparently you have to put your body through shock. Go without meat instantly or else... Oh, and scream at people and wipe your uh, menstrual blood all over yourself like you want vegan booty to get 9 billion likes when there's not even 9 billion people in the world. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and roll the first clip for you, and... Yeah. Yeah, I do know about Paul McCartney. How he's an animal... Oh, you don't believe me? You think because he's one of the famous Beatles, and he's declared that he's vegetarian, that this is somehow a good thing? It's not. People who are vegetarian still pay for the... Torture, enslavement, sadness confinement and murder of innocent animals in the dairy industry and in the egg industry. Vegetarians are nowhere close to being vegan. They are just as bad as anyone who eats any other kind of animal. Because what happens is when you're vegetarian, you end up eating twice as much cheese, twice as many eggs, and then meanwhile you're going around saying, oh, I'm vegetarian, as if it's some sort of a good thing. It's not. He should be ashamed of himself. See what I'm saying? Right there from her own mouth. Apparently, you're not good enough if you're ve you're just a vegetarian. If you just try to ease your way into veganism and see if it's right for you by being a vegetarian first. Oh, apparently, you should be ashamed of yourself. You're paying for the R word. The hurting. The horrible things that happen to animals every day. Yeah, see, this is just such hypocrisy. Yet you glorify someone like Vegan Booty, who is now deemed by the Australian military. Their, their, um, terrorism, their airism, I'm gonna call it airism, their airism support, their, 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 basically their SWAT team, their airism, SWAT team, their airism team, is an errorist. She has been called an errorist by her own government, and yet you think that this person needs to be supported. Someone like Tash Peterson, a.k.a. Vegan Booty, should be supported, but yet somebody just trying to eat less food. And no, not everyone that's vegetarian eats twice as much dairy and twice as, as much meat and blah, 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 blah. All of the hypocrisies and just the blatant, like disgusting way that you're supporting horrible individuals and putting them on your page. People that are literally taking their blood and putting it all over themselves and then going into, like, places that people work, like a mall with a pig's head in a cart and just screaming at people as you play animal screaming sounds. That's someone you support. But yet, someone that's just living their own life a now elderly man who was part of one of the greatest musical groups of all time. He's just out there living his life and yet you now th are going to go after him. And I'm always going to say this to remind people. Her following is mostly children. That vegan teacher's following is from the ages of 10 to 14 according to a poll that she herself did. 
asking her followers to be honest and tell them her age. I mean, tell her them their age. 10 to 14 year olds, impressionable children, impressionable children are going to be told to support an Australian heiress as opposed to somebody that has nothing to do with her. Nothing to do with her. Probably doesn't even know who the hell Miss Katie, Katie Dykemeyer is. Someone who is just living his own life. But apparently now is a horrible human being. Why is this her narrative? Unless you're screaming at people and literally just ruining people's lives, apparently you're not good enough. You're not... I, I just, I cannot. Like, if you truly cared about animals, you would support people like the ASPCA who rescue hurt animals from mean people. And not PETA, who literally euthanize 85% of the animals that go into their shelters. Because apparently, death is better than enslavement. Being a pet is not enslavement. These animals can't talk. They can't fend for themselves. They they are not on the sentient level that you or I are on. I don't know why that is so hard. If you truly cared about animals and want people to actually support you, support people like the ASPCA or other shelters that actually want to help animals. Not people that spread misinformation like PETA or to euthanize 85% of the pets that they get and steal people's pets off their lawns like that little chihuahua, like PETA. That, that, that's all I gotta say, guys. That's all I'm gonna say. This is probably already long enough of me ranting. So if you guys liked my rant to this little video, uh, tell me what you thought about it in the comments below. Give this a like. Give this a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Do Turn on the notification bell, Do all, click all the buttons, do all the things, da-da-da-da-da. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>